When we talk about these terms, it's so that we can use them to refer um, to lighting. So when you're getting educated by someone else as well, there's a kind of a common set of, of lingo so that we're all on the same page. So I'm going to get started with that terminology to get us set up. All right, so the very first word, term, that you need to know is broad light. I never use this word. Like I never talk about this except for if I'm trying to explain what I'm doing. All right, what broad light means is the shadow is going away from the camera. So in this instance, her head's turned to the side and the shadow's being cast this way, away from the camera. She's broadly lit. There's a lot of light towards camera. And, and uh, technically, if you're trying to make someone's face look wider, broader, you would light like this because more of their face is illuminated. I'm going to assume that's where it came from. We'll, we'll use that. Um, but then the short light is the opposite. The shadows are coming towards the camera. And it makes someone's face look much more narrow. So this has to do with where the shadows are falling. Broad light, if I'm the subject, the shadows are falling this way. In short light, the shadows would be towards the camera. All right, so keep in mind something that you want to know is anytime you want more dramatic light, drama, drama, drama is shadows. Shadows create drama. Flat light, no shadows, not dramatic. It doesn't mean it's not beautiful. I use flat light all the time for beauty photography. But if I'm going for something dramatic, it's going to have shadows. And if I want insanely dramatic, short light takes me there because you see that much more of the shadows because it's towards the camera. All right, next one. I know forever, I was really confused about this, so I was excited to try to put it in my presentation. Flat light means minimal or no shadows in general. Usually the light is more centered in front of the subject. Usually it's a little bit lower, just not many shadows in general. But here's a misconception I had. I thought flat light had to be dull, and I thought that it had to be high key, which is why I put this photo in there, because it's flat lit, but it's not dull and it's not high key. Like, I thought it had to be kind of literally flat, like, like not many blacks. No, it can still be a picture like this, but if you look, not many shadows underneath her chin. It's just kind of evenly lit with minimal shadows. So that would be flat light. On the other side is dimensional light. If you say, you know, okay, that, that, that image, it's really sculptural. It has a lot of dimension to it. It means you're using shadow to make your photograph look more 3D. And often dimensional light tends to be a little bit more dramatic. It uses shadow to sculpt the face. And if you look in the flat lit example, I mean, she is actually flat. Like, she looks very two-dimensional. It's all kind of on one plane. The shadows don't let you know kind of the depth of the photograph. But when you go to the next photo, you do see some depth. The light is coming from behind. It gives a direction, so it doesn't look as flat. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just different effects. So if I talk about, OK, right now we're flat lighting, it means the light is going to be more centered, more to the front, less shadows. If I say, okay, let's create dimension, I'm going to use shadows to create depth. So those are the two main descriptions you should be aware of. So over and over again, I'll say, shadows are what give you drama. If you want more drama, create more shadows. And if you want your picture to have more depth, to seem more three-dimensional, you sculpt with shadows.